My dad started it in the mid to late 70s and um, started with corn, wheat, beans, and dry beans, you know, just like everybody else around. And then in the, in the 80s, he started irrigating and that pushed him into potatoes and some vegetables. You know, all throughout the years, we've added, added employees, added family members. Right now, it's, it's my dad, myself, my brother, and then all of our other you know, spouses and, and everyone else helping out on the farm. I, I grew up on a farm, and that's, that's all I knew, and, and um, started out real small, and if I was gonna make it, that I was gonna not be on the real small side, that I was gonna progress and have irrigation and, and grow crops like potatoes, and, and, um, and so it was, a, it was a big challenge, and how I thought. We sell to, to Gerber for baby food, peas and green beans, and then our potatoes all go for potato chips to multiple places, Frito-Lay, you know, some more regionals, Uts, those types of places. Well, with Chris, it started with me when I was about that tall. He's, he's been here ever since the, the beginning uh, with, with Gerber there, and he's, you know, without him, I don't know where we'd be. Uh, that, that relationship, that understanding, you know, Chris has an understanding of, of bridging the gap between the farmer and the processor uh, because sometimes there can be a little bit of a disconnect but he does a really good job at, at bringing that together because there, there has to be someone that understands that middle ground where what's best for the for the for the processor has to be good for the producer also the relationship that i have with maine farm started back in 1992 the first year i started and i remember the very first green bean field that i went to uh, was Paul's. It was up off of M46 and my education about green beans started with him. So I've learned a ton from Paul and now from his son Dan and his brother Joe and all the way through that. And when I say relationship with growers, it truly is a partnership where we solve problems together and we take on opportunities together. Growing for babies is tough. Our specifications are, they're the toughest in the world. And Paul and his boys and their farm have always been on the edge of trying to do something new and doing the right things. And they've been great partners being innovative. Even though they're tough, they're helping us find ways to do it. It's a good life. It's, it's not easy. It's got lots of challenges and a lot of future challenges. I guess we're kind of up to that task, that doesn't shy us away too much. One of the biggest struggles is weather, because that's something you just absolutely cannot control. Mother Nature's gonna do what she wants to do and you just kinda have to work around it. Labor is another one, finding the right people, finding good people, so when we do find the right people, we do everything we can to keep them. We're always, we're always embracing new technology and, and new practices. Um, you know, we, we, for years we didn't have our own agronomist which we brought one on in 2018, and that's opened up a lot of doors. Having that resource, um, someone that can stay dedicated to, to our farm. You know, we do, we do a lot of our own work. We don't, we don't custom hire a whole lot out, so you know, there's, always, there's always new things that we're, that we're doing on the equipment side of things, and um, you know, variable rate fertilizer, variable rate seeding, that's something we've been working on for the last decade or so that's really, really evolved over the years. That's one of the great things about Maine Farms. It's this, the generation piece and, and seeing the, the next group come up and their excitement about hitting farming head on and um, taking it to the next level. My kids love the farm. Every time their the tractor's nearby, they're excited. They, they gotta go riding it. So it's something that our family has shed a lot of blood, sweat, and tears with. And we wanna make sure that our kids appreciate it and respect it and we want to make sure that we're handing off a good business to them. We want to make sure that we teach them the skills and the right mentality they need to carry that on for, for their kids. It's something we want to keep in the family. We're, we're proud of it, we're proud of everything we do and we're going to keep doing it year in, year out. They'll take chances, but they're chances that are well thought out and it's risk management and it's taking control of all the things that they can, knowing that the weather and everything else that steps in that they don't have control over, but the things that they, things that they do, they're very good at. 